Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. As the title says, we've got a solar uptick, and we'll get to that here momentarily. Then we'll hit what we're watching in the days ahead, a quick seismic note, and two studies from the journals. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, where large, dark coronal holes are flanked by bright active region sunspots. One that just turned over the limb top right fired an X-class solar flare. Subsequent impulsive M-class events erupted from the spots still facing Earth. And that's where the watch shifts next. X-ray flux chart here showing the flare spikes, including the X2 eruption just over on the far side. While that sunspot group is out of range, there are several others facing Earth right now, and there appear to be more coming behind the limb on the other side of that coronal hole. The data suggests we have still not quite magnetically connected to this coronal hole, gotta be within the next 24 hours, and that's when the alpha and wave seismic triggering can occur. And then around Wednesday or Thursday, the enhanced solar wind will arrive at Earth. Right now, things are pretty calm in the solar wind, but last night's phi angle flip, the solar current sheet impact, set the magnetic field back on its heels just a bit, nothing major. Quick seismic note, while the biggest of the day was a 6.0 in the Solomon Islands, the re-emergence of the Ethiopian shakes at the African Rift has caught my attention. We'll be watching today. We're checking in on the magnetic field science up next. Here they aim to aggregate every magnetic study from South America where data is painfully lacking and they were able to piece back evolution to the 17th century, it's the 1600s, and they're recognizing that the westward drift of the magnetic field may have begun much earlier than the 1859 excursion start date mark we most often use. Last but not least, folks, always fun to get one of these. You know, back in the 60s and 70s, Russia did the studies for every commodity, every crop, every trend, everything. Then they were basically lost when it became Russia instead of the USSR. Now, we painstakingly watch them recreate all that work inch by inch. Gold price and the price of all precious metals actually tracking solar activity. Speaking of gold and silver, shout out to Gold Co. and GoldObservers.com. They are sponsoring our documentary on the Earth disaster cycle, the ongoing magnetic excursion and pole shift leading to the solar micronova, the Earth tilt, great tsunamis, and the next stage of Earth. They're in the Observer family already and jumped at the chance to help this community they care about and this topic that they want heard. GoldObservers.com, where observers put the cherry on their preparations for disaster. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.